Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we are here. This is going to be week number nine of the AP Academy and we are up against Shuckle King, but I really do just want to quickly address something. Uh, I went on a really early losing streak in this season and uh, it wasn't the best situation. We started out 0-3 and, and then uh, I made a whole bunch of team changes and uh, we started winning some matches. We are now, I believe, at 3-5, and five, but two of those losses in that time period have gone one to Lantern Joe and the other to the Chicago Corviknights and... Those were pretty rough losses for me because I felt like I had all the tools to win except uh, in the Lantern Joe match I brought a really bad Bear Thorn set where uh, I, be I believe firmly that a Quagsire would have um, caused me to win that match. I believe I played as well as I could have. I think I brought all the things that I should have except for the Quagsire there. And um, in the other match against the Chicago Corv Knights, I literally could have won the match if I just brought Expert Belt, which is my first instinct, instead of switching it up last second to Mystic Water. So in my head, I'm playing decently well right now. I feel like I have all the potential in the world to be 5-3 and three right now. I could have been, I probably should have been, but uh, here we are and we have to play pretty much as well as we can to try to sneak into playoffs. Um, I have to do whatever we can to end up 5-5, five and five, which means we pretty much have to win out for the last two matchups. And they are two really, really rough matchups. They are against two of the top seeds in this entire league. And uh, I believe they both only have one loss. So it's going to be an incredibly difficult path, but it's going to be like a lot of seasons, like UBL in Season 2, where I kind of just had to play as well as I could win out my last two matches against the top two seeds in the entire league just to make it in here i'm gonna have to do something similar again i'm gonna have to pull something out of somewhere uh to be able to win these next two matches but with that i'm gonna get right into team preview i know he's doing a little bit of an intro but uh okay we get right into this team preview uh we will see the dragapult roserade gastrodon gigantamax colossal uh mamoswine and obstagoon so right off the bat what does that mean? No Togekiss. No Togekiss is moderately huge. No Zero Aura. No Zero Aura is really interesting to me. Uh, no Steelix. Wow, no Steelix. Wow, no Steelix. Um, part of me kind of thought that you would want to bring the, the, the Rune Frost, but realistically, I think you had a much better set of monsters to work with. But yeah, no, Z no Zero Aura is really huge to me. No Zero Aura is like 15 and 2 form this season. Um, but yeah, let me think this through. I really kind of want to lead off with, huh, what would he want to, lead? I could definitely see a Mamoswine leading off here. I kind of want to lead off with Serena. I kind of, yeah, if that feels really solid to me, either Serena or the Rotom. Or, or I could also try the Inteleon. I think Serena. I think Serena is going to allow me to pivot the best, and uh, funnily enough, the same way that I got through that one APA season where I had to play my way uh, in, into a playoff spot, Scarf Serena was the savior. I brought Scarf Serena to both matchups, and it's back here again. So uh, I very, very much love Scarf Serena, and I think here it has a really interesting matchup. Um, assuming that the Dragapult is only going to want to speed creep for um, a max speed Inteleon, I can maybe catch something off guard here. It does lead off with the Roserade. So Roserade is going to overall just be really difficult for me to switch into, but... But, I think I can just get a really reasonably strong U-turn out into Sovali. Now, honestly, I very, very strongly considered um, bringing the Melmetal uh, to kind of deal with the Roserade a little bit better. But I just felt like I needed all of the mons that were on this kind of, um, that were on this roster here. So just judging based off of that, that does look as pretty darn close to it, just a Noble Corroserade. And it will let me go into my Assault Vest at Silvali. So, let's see what we can do here. But yeah, Toxic Spikes is going to be huge here. I really don't have any counterplay. I was kind of hoping that um, he would kind of have to respect Rapid Spin on my, on my Serena. But I don't think a lot of my mons really need HP in this matchup. I think I can do... Decently well without them. I think the Ice Beam is reasonably obvious, although he might just want to uh, hit me for damage. If I did go for the Ice Beam, uh, he does have... He does have some reasonably easy switches in. Hmm. I kind of feel like I just go for it. 
I probably should U-turn. U-turn is, yeah, U-turn would have been a much better play. I really should have just gone for the U-turn. I think I'd have to play this incredibly aggressively just to kind of make some headway. Now, this is really interesting because, um, original team comps did have, oh, I do get the freeze. That is pretty wild here. Um, original team comps did have grass pledge, but, uh, obviously I took that off. I can just U-turn out here. And I should take a screenshot of the team as well. I'm going to work on that just for a second here. But... Um... Hmm. If I can U-turn... If I can U-turn out, it does... I can threaten Serena here. Um, I can also go, go into Mudsdale and start to get some... Some... Rocks going. I have some options here. Although it is going to suck that he's going to know that I don't have Grass Pledge on this thing when I really could have had Grass Pledge on this thing. Um, if I had this thing frozen and had Grass Pledge available to me, then that would have been pretty darn huge here. But I will be able to... You turn out, it is Rocky Helmet, which of course, a uh, bulky water type Rocky Helmet, of course, with my Mel Metal. Um, it's, it's honestly one of the reasons I didn't want to bring my Mel Metal. Um, because this Gastron was so problematic for me, but I don't know how I want to play this. I can go into this and U-turn out again. Roserade is reasonable there. Um, hmm. how, how would I want to play this? Oh, he can, he can also Scald to thaw himself, so... Yeah, this is probably the better play. And I think I just have to hit things hard now, right? Uh, it's pretty unfortunate, but I just kind of have to hit things hard. Power up doesn't... If this burns, then my chances of win... Oh, no, I can't burn. I'm sorry. I forgot that I'm switching into spikes. Sorry about that. Um... Uh... See, power whipping on the Roserade would be pretty bad. Hmm. He might want to stay in and call and call me out on that. I don't know. This is tough. I really do want to click U-turn, but I don't think he would want to stay in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. We'll see if he stays in. I I play reasonably predictably no matter what. Yeah, no, okay. At the very least, this will do a little bit in terms of conditioning him for the later match. Now, this is still going to do a decent amount of damage, I have to imagine. But I have to switch out here because I am choice, and even if this was a 2 KO, he can Gigantamax and really um, do quite a bit to me in this situation. So, unfortunately, I will have to eat a Vocalith. But, I think... A play would be to go into... Let me see. Colossal. I want to try and confirm some damage just before I start doing anything. Yeah, that, that looks to be no bulk, actually. Which means... That... Assault Vested... Assault Vested... Although, if, if I let... So Volley take too much damage, then I am making myself really soft to dra to Dragapult, which is unfortunate, but I kind of just have to manage a whole lot. Does withdraw, which is interesting. Goes out into this thing. Now, this is an interesting moment, because this is a moment that I quasi-prepared for. So, so I can U-turn out here, right? And I, and I outspeed any, any adamant... Um, any adamant obstagoon, which he doesn't really have any reason to be jolly, does go for a sub. Interesting, interesting. So, I do get the U-turn off, which will break the sub. I'm almost positive it should break the sub. But, that will allow me... So, this is jolly. This is a jolly... Um... Guy here. Which actually means... I don't know, what does it mean? 
Obstagoon. What type of damage am I doing with Serena? Huh. If I go into Serena... Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. I could high jump kick, which would be um, unfortunate if he goes into the Dragon Pole, but I think he knows, he should know by now that I'm Scarf. So if he goes into the Dragon Pole, then I can U turn out on the, on the Dragon Pole, and if he does stay in, then it looks like U turn sh probably isn't a KO, but it looks like it might be a KO after burn damage, and um, goes for the obstruct. Okay, that's pretty unfortunate, but. Uh, the funny thing about this is that it sh it should shore up a KO oh with this burn damage. I think. Um, I think this is gonna make the calc a lot, a lot more in my favor because of that, because of that burn damage. It's still going to be probably not great for me, but it looks like it looks like does withdraw. So you turn. Oh, he probably expects me to high jump kick there as well. He probably expects me to high jump kick there as well. And yeah, he for sure knows that I'm scarfed. That's why he felt really confident going into this thing. And wearing down my Serena because he knows my Serena is my best uh, damage output in this match. So I have to play it reasonably carefully. But I think I go into this thing. If I go into this. If I go into this, then I threaten a power whip. And if I threaten a Power Whip, then that draws in the Roserade. So I might just G-Max and, and hit the Darkest Lariat? Maybe. I think that's what I do. I actually don't even know whether or not um, I would KO here. Uh, just a regular Gastrodon? It does seem to be defensive. But if I'm G-Max... It looks like I should KO with a Max Darkness if this thing is... It, well, it, it, does, it has to be not Max Defensive, but if it... But this thing is probably Max Defensive. But this is really more so for the incoming Roserade, so I think I have to play it this way. Um... He could... Yeah. Maybe he goes for a Clear Smog, thinking that I'm going to Max Knuckle? I don't know. I don't know. Regardless... I don't feel the worst making this play. I think I have tools in the back that still make this an okay exchange. Now, we can make this thing drowsy, um, but the bigger, the bigger deal here is that it should shore up this calc, I think. Although, with how defensive that seemed to be, I don't even think that I KO here. I'm gonna... I just have to go for it. I just have to go for the damage here. Does withdraw. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what I went for this for. If we can KO this thing, that would be absolutely huge. That would be absolutely huge. We do get the KO. We do get the KO. So from here, from here, what does this mean? Honestly, even after G-Max, this is probably my best way. Oh my god, he could go into Gastron again, thinking that he could protect Stall me. But that's when I would... Okay, goes into this thing. Um, Now, obvious, uh, obvious point, if... If he... Um... If he gets the... Ugh, I don't know, I don't know. This is tough because... If he gets drowsy, then that would be huge. But I think I'd just take any hit and then I can switch out on this next turn. I think if anything... Mm, I don't know. I, my, my first thought was, I think if anything, I can potentially try and go to Sovali here. And try to surf. But that's probably not the best play in the world. Uh, max guard here. No, I don't think that makes sense. Okay, it's okay. I, th I think we can manage this. 
I think we can manage this. Uh, we'll probably go down here, actually. This thing is probably just really, really strong. I don't know how he tends to, to, to build his, his, um, I was going to say, I don't know how he tends to build these. Maybe these are super offensive, but it doesn't seem to be. So I can definitely save this Grimson Alt to try and 1v1 the Gastrodon, which could be, which could end up being huge. And I think, I think what that means, he went for Max Strike. Um, I can probably, what can I go into? I can go into this. I also think Silvali is a moderate, uh, uh, a, a reasonable play here. I do want to just take a quick screenshot. Just for myself. Okay. Okay, but I have to make my play reasonably quickly. Um. I think. I think I can go into this thing. Yeah, especially with the Rosary down. This frees me up to do a handful of things. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Um, there's the Volcalith. And we should resist that Volcalith. Right? I don't even know if that's true. I'm just so stressed out right now. I really want this win. I really want this win. And I also... Okay. I don't know whether, whether or not this is physical or special. I believe it's special just based off of that damage. And Jesus... Christ. Okay, this is a very specially defensive um, Mudsdale. It's a very specially defensive Mudsdale. And I think I can get rocks up here. Oh, he did get drowsed. I didn't even notice. I honest to God didn't even notice. That's not even a meme. I'm going to get rocks up. That is not even a meme. I think... I think an optimal play might have been to go in a Gastron there. But what I'm going to attempt is to... I could potentially get a get an iron defense up. No, but I think with all this damage, I, I think there's no way that I could take a hit from the Obstagoon or the Mammoth Swine at this point regardless. So... I can just try to hit the EQ. And that should do everything that I needed to do here. Uh, hopefully this thing stays asleep. But regardless, I think even if even if all that Mudsdale does is is eat up these these um even if all that Mudsdale does is is eat up these Volklith hits, then honestly Mudsdale's kind of doing its job. So what else does this mean for me? Probably means the Gastron's coming in. I can deal a little bit of damage with the body press there. Could go into Obstagoon as well. Um, Obstagoon could try to get a sub up, which I think I just body press for days. Um, Mammoth Swine? Can Mammoth Swine try to set up anything? Again, easy body press there. Um, whatever he does, he has to kind of show his hand a little bit. And I can try to adjust from there. If anything, the door is a little bit opened up. Yeah, I can... Well, he can... Yeah, I don't think body press is going to do enough here, but um, this is going to allow my Grimstar to come in for free and start to threaten some damage with body press or er, power whip. Yeah, this was a free rocket um, recover for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Now, he could hard switch out, knowing that the power whip is coming. The obvious play would be Dragapult. Um, obvious play would be Dragapult. I could potentially Darkest Lariat here. Um, power up just hits most things. Power up just hits most things.
I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Although there's a very real chance that I just lose to this Gastrodon, like, completely. And I also have to watch my timer quite a bit. Um, he could just think that I am trying to deal damage to this thing, especially because I have not yet revealed um, any type of max overgrowth or anything like that, so he could be considering whether or not I have it. Um, because every time I was up against this thing, the only thing that did go for was the uh, G-Max news, but he switches out into the Mammoth Swine. That's wild. I don't know if this is uh, this Kanoko, but I mean, imagine. Imagine with me, friends. Oh, just misses out on the, on the Oko. But now he knows that I have the Power Whip. I think. I think. I don't know. Could it just be time to sack off? Huh. I feel like I go into this. But do I take a hit? If I if I sack this thing off, if, if this thing does go down, then it, then it allows me to go into. It allows me to go into. Um. It allows me to go into. Inteleon. And Inteleon. I don't know what that allows me to do. Inteleon would make it difficult for me. Well, no, honestly, I think I, I think I have to go into. Oh man, that's that's pretty rough. That's honestly got pretty rough. Okay. But you know what? We can deal with this. We can maybe deal with this. Um. We can. We can just get a surf off here. Uh, it looks like he's out of range of U-turn. U-turn is right on the cusp. U-turn is right on the cusp. Oh, we could Shadow Ball just in case the Gastrodon like super aggressively wants to come in here. That just makes overall sense to me. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um. What else? What else? I mean, the obvious play would be potentially to bring. I don't. He can bring in the Gastrodon. Um, what's obstacle would be really problematic, but I think those rocks dealing that much damage to my to my um dealing that much damage to my. for the facade, that's fine. The fact that I took so much damage with... What is that thing called? Um, with, with Rotom when it comes in on rocks, that might honestly be the, the difference in this matchup here. Now, the obvious the obvious interesting thing. Now, now that we know that this, that this thing is jolly, probably means that this thing is in remarkably little bulk. Which actually means I should, um, just KO with Scald. It should mean that I KO with Scald. Gastrodon's an obvious play. Although, if I, cl if I click Ice Beam, then he can potentially take an Ice Beam and KO me with, with Facade. If that's the case, then I bring in... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just do this. This has to be my best play. Uh, U-Turn should always KO no matter what happens. He can Obstruct, which would be unfortunate. But, yeah, Obstruct actually KOs me. Alright, that was, that was bad. That was just bad. I panicked. I panicked. I panicked. I pretty aggressively panicked. I should have... Okay, actually, what this does is it forces him to take extra damage, which means that Ice Beam should now KO. Which means that it should show up the Ice Beam count here. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, there's a chance it doesn't KO, but I don't know. There's a chance anything doesn't KO anything, right? I guess that's not true. But regardless, if the Gastron tries to come in, it's going to take damage. Um, and I think ultimately, I can't pick this Dragapult anymore. Even if I'm able to, even if I'm able to beat the Gastronon, then I can't beat the Dra I can't beat the Dragapult anymore. But yeah, there were so many just bits of chip damage that made this difficult for me. Yeah, it was a crit. I don't think that mattered. Um, there's a very, very small chance that that ended up mattering, but it's it's fine. Um. The fact of the matter is... See, whatever comes in... Hmm. The fact of the matter is that... I, Inteleon potentially takes it from Dragapult. Unless he just goes for a straight-up Draco. And it's a very, very strong Dragapult. But... I don't know. The way that I played that Serena was so bad. What I should have done... Mm, yeah, there's so much that I could have done. It's fine. Now, I potentially take a hit, unless this thing is like, super duper specs. What if this thing is specs? I think I should take a hit that's not... If this thing just has Shadow Ball. Yeah, Spec Shadow Ball should do it. Spec Shadow Ball should actually do it. Goes for Hex. We potentially take this. Is it Spec? Ugh. It's it's Specs. It's Specs Hex. And the fact that everything is. Oh no! The fact that I was poisoned means that I didn't take it. Yeah, it can be whatever item it wants because I was statist. Um, hmm. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Uh, I don't take a Draco. And I can't even do the thing where I switch out into my Grim Snarl because... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's any way that I win anymore. If this thing is not Specs, then I have a chance to take one. And then I KO with, with, with Dark Pulse. But it's super dubious. I have to be able to take one hit. And then I'm a Specs Rotom. If he switches out into Gastrodon and Specs Dark Pulse is able to 2 KO, then I can actually win the match. Or, or he switches out, goes for the Dragon Pulse. I think I take this. Oh my god, I think I take this. I think that. Oh. I actually think that that mattered. I, th I actually think that that mattered. Alright. Max special attack. Modest. Dragon pulse. Oh my god. It should max, it should max out at like 60%. That should have maxed. Ugh. If that's how my season ends, then that's how my season ends, but. He could be fearing Sucker Punch. But ultimately, it doesn't even really matter. Goes for the sub, it's fine. That crit 100% mattered. Especially, especially all that, all that I needed was chip damage onto the Gastrodon. And of course I would have needed to 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 land a power whip, but that a hundred percent mattered. I honestly just want to run. Like this is not even fun anymore. Oof. Oof. Spicy. Oh, that one. That, I feel spicy on that one. Oof. That, that's not even a phrase people use. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just upset. I don't know. I really, yeah, even if it was max defense, bold gash it on, power whip, does like minimum 100%. We know that it's Rocky Helmet, 
Oh, all I had to do was land, and all I had to do was not get crit, and I think that was the game. That was a whole ass game. I'm moderately speechless. I tried. I think that's going to... I mean, obviously, I'm going to try in my final week. I'm going to try in my final week, but... Um, actually, I'm also curious. Assuming that, that it's a max defense Gastrodon, what was, what, what was Specs Dark Pulse doing to it as well? Specs Dark Pulse was doing like 40%, so... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter, because he, he wouldn't have had any opportunity to... To... Um, recover up on me anyway, because Power Whip does over 100% minimum, so... It doesn't matter, but... It mattered. That crit mattered. Alright, well that's gonna be week 9. Um, obviously, we're still gonna try. If there's literally any chance that a losing record makes it into playoffs this season, then uh, that's what I will go for, and I will do whatever I can to win out week 10 and do whatever I can, but... Man, after that intro and after all that I try to do in this match, I seriously think I just lost to a crit and I don't know how to feel about it. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with the final week of the AP Academy with more weeks at the TBL and of course more weeks of the NTP. I'm going to win that once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>